Well, hello again, and uh, this time, <laughs> if you're uh, very if you're very astute, you may notice that this is not Unreal Tournament Three, and um, there's a couple of reasons for that. The first being that I've been wanting to do something with this for a while, and the other being that uh, once again I've completely screwed up and uh, managed to delete all my delete all my captured video from last this last weekend, which is again really a shame because I. I was very lucky to get into a couple of decent matches that I wanted to post, and uh, I completely deleted them. Thinking I was deleting the uh, the main dumps when what I was actually deleting was the uh, the segments that I was going to post, and these being dump files of 40 or 60 or 80 or 100 gigabytes apiece. There's not pretty much not an undelete program in the world that's going to get those back for me. Unless maybe it's Easy West, which I'm not spending a hundred bucks on, so. Or trying some cracked version that's probably full of viruses. But, I can live with that. There's, a, there's an even chance that I'll get into at least one more match with that game before it dies completely. In the meantime, I, I do have to do something with this. This is Infinity Battlescape, the, the prototype. It's not even an alpha, it's a prototype. And uh, I'm posting this because they've, they're up to... This is version 1.140 uh, or 1040. It's the, one they, it's the one they posted the other day, about a day or two ago. And uh, they've done the unthinkable here. They've done... They Apparently, at some time since the last time I actually did any reading about this, they decided they were actually going to support joysticks which is something that earlier when I was reading the forums and stuff, they swore they weren't going to do. Uh, the rationale being that uh, joysticks are just too slow. This is a twitch shooter. This is a twitch uh, space flight combat uh, simulator. You're simulating something that doesn't exist. Um, and uh, it must be done with keyboard and mouse because everything else is just too goddamn slow. And, well, they've They've supported joysticks, and uh, it was a pain in the ass to get it set up because as the thing comes, it doesn't know what joystick I has. You don't get an interface to sit there and click and point and click with to set it up. I had to go in there and edit their XML files and figure out what exactly the various buttons on this. Uh, what is this? This is a Logitech. Uh, it's the it's the Logitech one. It's the latest Logitech uh, thing with the 11 buttons and the and the twist grip and all that crap. It's a real nice joystick, you should get one. Um, yeah. Aside from the fact that I had no clue how to edit an XML file and Notepad didn't work. But, given all that and getting, and getting it together here, I finally got the damn thing running. I don't have it, I don't have every, all the functions mapped exactly the way they're gonna be, but, uh, well, what can I say? The first thing I will say is that uh, by golly, you were right. Uh, playing this game with a joystick is horrible. At least so far, the way I got this set up. Mainly the problem is that, uh, this, this is not an airplane. Okay? Uh, that little round circle that my X is next to right there, that's the direction you're actually traveling. The little X is where your nose, your ship is pointed. And there is no, there is no, uh, there's not necessarily any relationship between the two. You can, you can flip your nose around any way you want. You're still headed toward the little circle. You want to change that, you got to use your thrusters pretty much. This thing does not have wings. There's no air up here anyway. Um, you want to go left, you got to use the thrusters to do that. You want to go right, you got to use the thrusters. You want to go up, you need thrusters. In fact, uh, right now I've got the joystick controlling pitch and yaw and roll, which is traditional. But uh, these are not very useful in a, sh in a ship of this kind. They'd be more useful in an airplane. I've been thinking what I, what I might need to do is actually map the joystick to the thrusters so I, so that, uh, so that I, yeah, so that the joystick, with well, the movements of the joystick have some actual relationship to the actual direction and velocity of the ship instead of just flipping the nose around everywhere. It would be probably more useful that way. Maybe, because uh, 
Yeah, it's qu it, well, it, it's horribly difficult difficult to control. Anyway, this is not like Elite Dangerous. This this is a uh, near, if not complete. Well, I, I'm this is playing. This is not pure Newtonian physics because I've got the flight assist on. Uh, it's it's incredibly hard to play with play even with the flight assist on. You turn it off, it's fucking hopeless. At least for me. Um, I can just about manage a controlled swoop over flat ground here. I've got that much together. I'm controlling the uh, direction I'm flying in using the using the keyboard to uh, to burst little thrusters on to get little thrusters going the way I want. the The joystick is pretty much having no effect other than to move the nose around, which again has no effect whatsoever in what direction you're going. It's mainly for aiming, and it's not very good for that because the the response of the joystick is simultaneously too sensitive. I probably need to increase the dead zone there and slower than dirt. So it's almost impossible. I mean, if you're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run across another player here. Yeah, this is him here. This is Space J, who's gonna, who's who was very nice, who was nice enough to fly around here and give me some practice at maneuvering around and trying to keep somebody in my crosshairs. Uh, which, given this setup, is damn near impossible. I noticed that he was flying pretty well. So it's obviously possible to fly this stuff pretty well. I'm just playing with my, uh, what is it? The, I'm playing with the target tracking controls, which I've got set up to some of the joystick buttons. I'm just checking to see if they work. Um, the highlight, the target under the reticle works. Uh, the next the next target works. Uh, nearest, I think, works. Uh the none, the none selected does not appear to work. I'm not sure why. Yeah, I'm still. He's still, he's still some distance off here. I'm just checking him out. He looks like he's a good. No, oh, now I'm noticing that he's rather close by. He's a good six kilometers away, which is nothing, considering the speed you're going. Yeah, now he's going to whip right on by me there. Yep, there he goes, and it's pretty much all I can do to keep him in, keep him in my sights. Yeah. Really know nothing about flying the ship at this point. I haven't played this a whole lot, uh, but you know some things translate. Like right now, I'm just yeah. There you go. No control whatsoever. Tried to follow him and just whipped around a couple times there. He's just flying. He's just flying rings around me at this point, which is you know which is giving me an opportunity to try a few things. It's going to occur to me that yeah, you know I can use reverse thrust a little bit, which is something I do in Elite Dangerous and. And I can use the uh, I can use the thrust boost uh, to some to some decent effect, but yeah, given the given the response on the joystick and the way I've got it mapped together, there is a there's a severe limit on what I'm going to be able to do. Yeah, he's, he's he's hovering right in front of me now. Let's see if I can manage to point the nose at him. Just barely. I must look like a total goon. Yeah, he's flying the new model. That's the fighter. I'm still I'm flying the bomber because the fighter was just a little bit too much for me to handle when I tried it. Also, I was having when I first started setting up this file, I was having serious trouble. Uh, well, I didn't have it set up quite right, and there's and uh, the throttle was acting kind of funny. This is something they may have changed. They're, they 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 looks like they may have put a governor on the throttle. Uh, you, when you're in the atmosphere like this. It's all—it's pretty much impossible to get the speed up over maybe 300, uh, 300, 300 meters per second. If you use the booster, you can get it up to maybe four or five hundred meters per second. That's about as fast as you're going down here, close to the ground. Uh, when I when I and I, this is—I don't know. This might be new in, in this in this 1040 because before I seem to recall. I've tried this out a few other times, and it seemed like the the throttle was unlimited. Uh, you could you could hit the throttle all day long, no matter where you were, and it would keep it would keep trying to accelerate you. Uh, in this uh, in this iteration, uh, you don't get any acceleration past uh, past maybe three or four hundred three or four hundred meters, which I would I would guess is down to air resistance. You get up above the atmosphere and you can get a little bit faster, but even then, uh, the main thruster uh, craps out at about maybe one and a half kilometers per second or something like that. Uh, well, may, I don't know. You can go faster. You can definitely go fast enough to cut in the hyper, the, the warp drive, which is, you got to get up to about two and a half 
kilometers per second before you can switch that on. But yeah, you have you, you're pretty much not doing that until you get up above the atmosphere, which takes a little time. This is understandable, and it, it took me a little while to get used to. It, but when I first got this thing out and started trying to screw around with the configuration for the joystick, it was a little bit of a mystery. I couldn't tell if it, if the throttle was doing this because that was a change they made or is because or because I screwed up something in the configuration file. It turned out to be mainly a change that they made, I think, or maybe I don't remember the thing right since it's been weeks since I've messed with this. Uh, but I also had a couple small problems with the configuration file. At this point, it's working about as well as it's going to, except that I have the controls set up in the, obviously the completely wrong way. I need to find out something. I really want to use the joystick. I'm, I'm really happy they put it in here. But uh, for the purpose of shooting down other players, which at this point I don't think you can do anyway, your, your weapons are going to have no effect, but for the purpose of shooting down other players, it's definitely going to be necessary to have more control than this. Absolutely. He's just making passes at me here. Using me for target practice, basically. I can see where this game could be a hell of a lot of fun. It's still very rudimentary. Uh, you look at the these models are very these models are still not well developed. The bomber's about the best well developed of them. The fighter doesn't look real bad at this point. That's, it's, a, it's a slightly more sleek design. I like it. I should probably try flying it a little bit more. I'm trying to get into the. Uh, I'm tr I've been trying to do a few things like use roll and then use roll and then up thrust to make a turn not working out real well. It's very difficult for me to coordinate the movement of the joystick with the thrusters. I really need to try a different setup or just abandon using the joystick altogether. Which might be the which might be the way to go because I although I wasn't great with just the keyboard and mouse, I think I feel like I had a little more control with those. Might need to just stick with them and, and skip the joystick altogether. Yeah, it would be nice also if there were some if there were some additional adjustments that could be made to the to the sensitivity on the joystick. As it is, you get one slider for sensitivity, and uh, actually, I haven't noticed that that slider makes any difference whatsoever. The joystick response seems about the same no matter what I do with that. It does seem to have a pretty good effect on the mouse. But the joystick is just completely mushy. It's simultaneously too sensitive. It's too easy to, to for it to start wandering around. I think a dead zone might help that. And at the same time, it's just really slow to respond. It takes forever to it takes forever to traverse this thing. Using the boost does help. I think at some point it's going to occur to me, oh yeah, I could probably maneuver a little bit better if I use the boost a little bit. Yeah, I see, he's flying that thing. He's, he's, he's flying that thing quite well, I should say. I'm just trying not to hit the ground. Of course, this uh, the bomber, I don't doubt, is probably not quite as maneuverable as that thing is. It is a fighter versus uh, whatever this thing is supposed to be, a bomber, I suppose. I don't know what you're going to be bombing in this game. Be interesting to find out. I noticed the, uh, the updates, the updates uh, that they've been emailing me. Uh, one of them has a graphic in it that shows that fighter with a couple of missiles coming off of it, so that... That would be nice. As of right now, the only weapons I see on any of these are the default uh, little little plasma bolts or whatever they are. Yeah. I wish them all the luck in the world. It is still it's still obviously early days, but I hope they I hope they manage to I hope they manage to get this thing some development done on this thing before they <laughs> oh, actually hit the guy. Well, or he hit me, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it was uh well, it was interesting, but uh, I'm going to I'm going to sit here and I'm just going to duck out on him now cuz uh hey man, I got my footage. That's good.
It was nice of him to show up and show me this thing a little bit. Yeah, have a good evening.